Grace and peace. It's your man. I'm back. Brother Key, hold the line. I've been gone for a while, y'all. I, I stepped back. I deactivated Facebook. No Instagrams, no Twitters. Nothing. Nothing. Didn't engage in comments. None of that. All I did was consume Christian content. Looked at the Christian YouTube content creator space. And really looking to where Hold the Line's going next in 2023, baby. Because we ain't going nowhere. Don't get it twisted. So much has happened in three months. The Kanye thing. The Logan Paul thing. The, uh, so much. The, the, the preacher that got robbed while preaching. And now he just got arrested for fraud. So much stuff I was chopping at the bit to talk about. I didn't. And now I'm here and we're back. So now today, let's talk about prophecy or prophetic word or what I like to call today pathetic word. There's a lot of YouTube channels. And if you're familiar with my channel, you can go into my playlist. I got I got videos exposing um, Troy Black, uh, Jalen Rose. Uh, um, I forgot the one kid's name. Jordan, the chosen one. <laughs> I got a lot of videos on these guys where we're exposing these dreams and these visions and these prophetic words that these people basically are, are stealing from the truth of Jesus and lining their own pockets, sitting at home every day in front of a computer, conjuring up dreams and visions of what they had. Because at the end of the day, if they don't have dreams and visions, they don't have a, they don't have a YouTube channel. Troy Black, uh, Kathleen Kurt. There's another one. These people without dreams and visions and prophetic words, these people don't have a channel. The gospel's not enough. The truth of Jesus isn't enough. The simplicity of the gospel, these people don't want. They want to complicate everything. They want to rely on their feelings and what they claim they see in dreams. And I would bet that most 98% of these dreams that these folks say that they're having are, are 100% conjured up on the spot while they're talking because they've done it for so long and they've done it so much that they know how to talk the talk, walk the walk. Because if you listen to these so-called prophets, these guys are trained in speaking like 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 a so-called prophet would speak. You know, they all have the same type of language, the same the same type of key words that they say anointing and little 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 buzzwords that you hear them say. And, and they're good at saying it. And if you don't know the Bible, you don't have discernment and you don't understand the gospel, you're going to fall for these guys. You know, I'm watching Supernatural and all these people out into the audience and I'm thinking to myself like, wow, man, how do these people all fall for this? Like this, this sounds like hocus pocus. This sounds, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right to the ears. Even a non-believer will look at that and laugh. But it's sad at the same time because what happens with a lot of people is they have some type of ailment or some type of healing that they need in their lives and they turn to these so-called prophets, which they are, P-R-O-F-I-T, because they're profiting off of you watching their fake dreams and visions. If you look at somebody like a Troy Black, I don't know how many subs he has now, but he's got enough. And how many dreams and visions this guy can have. It's one after another, after another, after another. I mean, it is ridiculous how many dreams and visions these people have. And they say it's prophetic. But what it is, is pathetic. It really is. Be on the lookout of these people. And when you see some of their content, go on there and engage. I know Troy Black, he deletes any, any comments that ain't for him. You know what I mean? That doesn't affirm him, that aren't bigging up Troy Black. Anybody that pushes against him or challenges him, he's going to run from it. 
So these guys aren't willing to sit down and deal with the truth of scripture. They rather deal with the lies of dreams and visions. This is their idol. This is their golden calf that leads so many astray. It's so disheartening. It's so sickening to watch these charlatans operate on a daily basis. So hold the line. This year, we're going to continue moving forward. We're going to continue exposing fake prophets, fake dreams and visions, channels that will say that Christ is the center, but these channels are monetized and they're about profit, not prophecy. Ooh, that's good. They're about profit, not prophecy. Not speaking God's word, you know, and, 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 and we have to be aware. We have to wake up. We have to have our discernment on and we have to let other people know that watch these dreams and visions videos. If they ask you a question about it, tell them that's not Christianity. That's hocus pocus nonsense. That's agnostic garbage is what it is. But I appreciate y'all. I just wanted to check in, upload something. I'll be uploading some stuff this weekend. I should be doing like three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I thank each and every one of y'all that have subscribed to this channel. We're going to continue moving forward. We're going to do some live broadcasts, some interviews. I'll reach out to some of the brothers, and we'll get together, have some discussions. So I'm back, and... um any videos that you guys do see that you want a reaction from or you want me to speak on, uh, just uh, send them to my email, keithhanley at yahoo.com. Don't laugh. Yes, I still got a YouTube. Yes, I still got a YooHoo. Um, you can also find me on Facebook. I did activate my account. You can send me a, a, a message on there and I'll, I'll check the video out and I'll let you know if I'm going to react to it, man. Grace and peace. Y'all have a blessed day. Let's end the year off big. And today, tomorrow, and the next day after that, let's try to share the gospel with somebody. Grace and peace. Yeah. We in war, ladies and gentlemen. We at war.